Hello everyone, welcome back to my page and today we are going to talk about tofu and how in four ways I add it to my meal and also my clients meal planning. The reason why we add tofu in our diet is because being a vegetarian we have very limited protein sources and tofu is soya paneer that has good amount of protein. We'll discuss about what tofu is in detail and some myths associated with it by the end of the video. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. So tofu is a Japanese word of food that's prepared by coagulating soy milk. Soy milk comes from soya beans which are a very popular legumes provided to give us lot of protein. They just press soy milk resulting curds into solid white blocks of varying softness. Silken, soft, firm, extra soft, extra firm. It is a traditional component of East Asian and South Asian cuisines and in China it has been consumed over 2000 years. Nutritionally, it is high in protein and people who are lactose intolerant cannot consume milk-based products like paneer. Tofu is a great option in order to add protein and being a vegetarian, I find it very difficult to consume good amount of protein and tofu fulfills that requirement. Tofu is relatively high in protein, about 10.7% for firm tofu and 5.3% for soft silken tofu with about 5% to 2% fat respectively. It's easy to prepare tofu at home. You have to curdle the milk, get the soy milk. You just soak your soy beans, boil it, blend it together, get the milk out of it, add some water, curdle it and you get a tofu which can be used in variety of recipes that I have been using. We can use make tofu stir fry, we can use tofu instead of paneer in many of the recipes like I do. It also fulfills my requirement and also gives you a lot of protein, taste and flavor. I know that tofu requires an acquired taste. It needs some time on our part uh, in order to get familiar with the taste as it's something that we had not been consuming since ages. So yes, it takes time but it is a good source of protein and I definitely recommend this to be a part of your routine because the texture it gives that paneer feel it gives that meat feel as well so if you're someone who's turning a vegetarian or who's turning a vegan this is something that you can add in your routine now first and foremost way in which I make a recipe out of tofu is this tofu crumble it is super simple super easy I just crumble this tofu well um, with a blender or any cutter just blend it into small pieces crumble it well and then you get this uh, scrambled egg texture in with this tofu with high amount of protein add little bit of olive oil some onions some spices like turmeric, salt, pepper, red chilli according to your choice. Add this crumbled tofu and what you get is this crumbling, yummy, tasty, flavorful tofu. It tastes like a very Indian dish and also you get a lot of flavors and at the very same time fulfills your protein requirement as well. So yes, you can have it as a part of your breakfast routine. It's so simple to consume, simple to make and very easy uh, if you're running on very hectic and busy schedules. Next thing that what I do in order to consume tofu is I don't usually like the taste of tofu that much so what we do is we blend it so with tofu i blend some greek yogurt to make it more even rich in protein add a little bit of garlic and some salt some olive oil some green herbs you can also add spinach to this i've added some coriander blend it together and you get a dip and now you can enjoy this amazing tofu dip in variety of recipes you can have it with your crisp some tortillas with your seasoned vegetables i like it with seasoned carrots this can be a perfect option to enjoy on your sundays and your saturdays it it actually gives you that authentic taste it has a very unique flavor if you like dips then this is something that you must try with some seasoned carrots it has a very flavorful effect 
also if you increase the quantity of tofu and make this dip then it can actually serve as a dressing for your sandwiches it can be a topping for your toast it turns out to be really tasty i enjoy them with my tortillas or sometimes a little bit of these high protein snacks it turns out to be really tasty third way in which i eat tofu is this with my saute vegetable i add some chickpeas it turns out to be really tasty it's a little bit of a chinese recipe uh we use tofu as a protein source and then we add little bit of our dressing which has sesame seeds jaggery soy sauce little bit of soy sauce then balsamic vinegar you can use your regular vinegar as well and then mix it well this turns out to be a really tasty chinese recipe it is a part of my dinner routine but i really enjoy it next up is the tofu sandwich this is one of the great ways if you want to enjoy your tofu and it turns out to be pretty tasty take white beans blend it together make a hummus out of it and then roast some tofu and on top of it add this hummus made out of white beans add some cucumbers some tomatoes then add a little bit of peri peri masala and some green chili this is one of the most amazing recipes you can try because it is very flavorful and at the very same time it gives you good amount of protein so yes including tofu in my diet helps me get good quality protein and at the very same time it actually makes vegetarian getting variety of recipes when it comes to increasing protein intake for vegetarians but as i know that many people are skeptical about tofu they have some misconceptions att- attached to it many myths that suggest that tofu should not be consumed with people having thyroid tofu should is a very bad quality protein so we are going to discuss about all the myths associated with tofu and how much should be consumed when you can consume it and up to what quantity you can eat it without any fear of having any health effect so yes i am going to share about all these myths but definitely make tofu a part of your routine it is something that is essential to be a part of your routine if you're a vegan or a vegetarian because there are very limited vegetarian and vegan sources for protein so yes consuming tofu can help you increase your protein intake up to a great extent so first and foremost myth that's associated with tofu is about its taste that it's very bland in taste however you can make tofu very flavorful as i shared in my previous recipes i can tell you that yes it takes time to build right it takes time for you to build that flavor but once you do it you will really enjoy all of its recipes it has that acquired taste but you will enjoy it once you try it for at least 5 times second myth associated with that is tofu is unhealthy it's a nutritious food rich in protein calcium iron and contains all nine essential amino acids third that tofu causes cancer some studies suggest that tofu phytoestrogens can actually reduce the risk of certain cancers like breast cancer rather than causing the myth associated with tofu is that it's only for vegetarians and vegans it's a great addition to your diet not just for vegetarians or vegans but due to its health benefits and versatility you can use it in variety of dishes and for everyone from meat eaters non meat eaters vegans everyone it can be a great addition to their diet Next myth is that it contains harmful hormones. Tofu contains phytoestrogens which are plant based and not the same as human estrogen. They do not have same effects on body so people often confuse this and associated this as a myth with tofu. Next myth associated with tofu is that it is hard to cook. However, you can use it in variety of recipes like you air frying or you can make smoothies out of it you can roast it as i've shown it in my different ways of cooking tofu and how added to your meals you can simply make it a part of your routine next myth associated with it is that it is a low quality protein however it's absolutely false because tofu has 
all essential amino acids that's important for your body last but not the least that too much soya is bad for you and that's why tofu is bad for you anything in excess is bad and that's why you have to limit its intake for two to three times in a week and that is also if you are a normal healthy individual if you are someone who's having thyroid because of goitrogens you should limit its intake up to once or twice max in a week and that is completely fine if you consider it to be a part of a balanced healthy diet then tofu is absolutely safe